Greetings BUSN 1305, specifically Section H01, which is the Introduction to Business class that meets on Tuesdays 9.10 a.m. to 10.40 a.m virtually. We meet virtually via Teams. And class hasn't quite started yet, but I wanted to reach out to you because some of you have already emailed me and said, thank you for reaching out, and here's what I saw in the syllabus, and I had a question about something. And I just think that's so great that you are preparing for your success. I, I love to see that. And so I thought that we could maybe talk about the class schedule a little bit. Now, we're not going to get into the how-to of assignments yet. At this point, it's just the weekly work schedule but it's all the information that you need and honestly oftentimes students kind of set it to the side and as you'll see I actually talk about that in the schedule and say it's the biggest reason that people skip assignments they forget to do it you end up losing points so I want you to avoid all that so we're gonna just very quickly look at uh, the class schedule Okay, so I'm sending this as an attachment to the email that I'm going to send you, but I wanted you to take a look at it now. I'm not going to read every page to you because you're going to have it, and of course it'll always be in our course materials once all that, the, the kind of digital classroom, opens up to you when the semester officially starts. But this is what I want you to see. I want you to see that on this first page, see this over here uh, on the left, that there are some notes. And I want you to start with that because it's going to answer some of the questions that you have. Um, you know, is it self-paced? No. Do we meet? Yes, weekly. Now you've seen uh, in terms of, you know, like attendance or whatever, you see that in the syllabus and, and uh, that. This semester, officially, I'm not going to talk about the syllabus. Make sure you're looking at that, and I know that you are, so that's fantastic. Um, the semester officially starts Monday, August 23rd, but we meet on Tuesdays, so that's going to be August the 24th. Now, where do we meet? Well, let me go all the way over here to week one, and you can start to see this is our weekly work schedule. So, you know, what do you do the first week of class? Well, you got to look at the syllabus and I'm trying to give you these a little bit in advance so that you can digest this information so that it's not overwhelming because I understand that it can be. I truly do. And I want you to feel comfortable that you're supported and that you have the information that you need to succeed. All right, so you're going to look at the syllabus. You're going to look at this schedule that we're looking at. Um, you're going to go through pause because that'll be opened up for you. And you're going to start to get acquainted with the classroom and the expectations and the assignments and those types of things, right? And what are we going to do in this week one? Well, we are going to start chapter one, you know, kind of right away. Well, let's talk about our class and the actual time. Do you see here in green it says here's a link to our class meeting that's on Tuesday 9 10 to 10 40 a.m. and so this is the first thing that I want to point out to you. Our class is a three credit hour class. We meet for 15 weeks. It's a full semester. So what that means kind of in school language is that we technically should be meeting three credit hours but if you look at our class schedule just on Tuesday not Tuesday Thursday just Tuesday and 9 10 to 10 10 to 10 40 right is okay I can't do my fingers right is an hour and a half not three hours it's an hour and a half and that's because this class is hybrid so what are we going to do during this time well, it's not a fully online class, but an hour and a half is not enough time to, you know, read the chapter to, you know, to you or to go through every single page and paragraph and, you know, and thing. So it's a chance for us to touch base, to talk about things, especially that are of interest to you or perhaps confusing to you. What I like to do is uh, bring in some of the real world scenarios. There's so much, you know, if you're... Uh, Chapter 2, uh, we touch a little bit on inflation and, and things like that. So it, that's so in the news right now, and we can introduce those types of things. Um, but I, don't, I want to set your expectation to understand that a lot of what you're going to be doing, you're going to be doing outside of our class meeting time together, right? Our virtual class time. I also understand as we meet virtually that people have technology problems that people have internet problems so I'm gonna be recording you know and actually I'm no different I sometimes have a very slow internet it just depends I think on what's going on 
in the business world around me. I'm not sure. But um, th those things do happen. So we're going to record and you'll have access to the recording. I can do videos like this for you so that you know, uh, you'll have that kind of a lecture interaction if we need to do that. So I'm here for you. I'm going to tell you also that this is my first time teaching a class using Teams. I have taught online for, uh, I was about to say decades, and I'm going to say, is that right? Yeah, I, I've been an online student. Um, I've been a classroom instructor, so I'm comfortable in the format. Um, and and I want you to be comfortable too and I want you to know that you're supported. Okay, and that's one reason. Let's get back to this weekly work schedule. Um, okay, so, so you're going to have these tools and technologies. Now, here's what is important. Due dates. Due dates are important. The class is not self-paced. And the importance of due dates is it keeps you from falling behind and getting overwhelmed. What I have in my kind of vast uh, teaching experience uh, observed is that when you kind of make that promise to yourself, I can't do it this week, but I'll do it next week, now you have twice as much to do and you're already trying to run and you probably have multiple classes and you have family responsibilities and work responsibilities and I get that and I don't want that snowball to you know wrap you up in it so that you're you know you're overwhelmed if, especially if the you know if you're standing on your tippy toes to keep your head above water you know I don't want that water getting uh, higher so this weekly work schedule is going to be your guide one of the things that I tell you in here is that one of the reasons that students sometimes lose points is because they they forget to look at this schedule and I want you to know this I look at this schedule I mean I get up in the morning I go what are we, what am I supposed to be doing this week what are we focused on you know um, so I'm looking at this I want you to look at it it's digital you know it's going to be in our course materials you can save it to your computer you can print it so that you always have it this is key okay this schedule so um, so we have this and um, you know like I said uh, and I'll send you this link um, you know you'll get an in, a calendar invitation you'll get some things through teams and we'll talk more about this in a little bit okay Let, we're, let's not get into the how to's right now let's focus on the what and the timeline and the weekly work schedule so the first week that you're in class I do need to report your attendance I need you to you know touch base with me in class come to class but I want you to go out into our pause system when it opens and we're going to talk more about pause if you've never used pause that's normal that's okay and you're going to complete this quiz and this is the easiest quiz of your lifetime it's kind of like saying that when you come to class and the teacher you know gets the roster and says Joe Smith are you here and you go here well, you successfully answered that quiz, and that's what you're going to do in this particular pause quiz, okay? So we'll talk more about that, but that's going to be quick and easy points. You don't want to miss those, and those are going to be due Saturday during our first week of class. You're going to post a virtual introduction. We only have kind of an hour and a half together, and we'll certainly, you know, uh, be using our names, and you're going to meet your classmates through Teams, but I want you to post a digital introduction. Um, you'll see the instructions out there and again the how-to of it we'll talk about later it's going to be in pause now one of the systems that we're going to use the I say systems the online websites that we're going to use we're going to use pause and we're going to use the publisher website that's called connect and I'll have to give you that website you don't have it yet and it's a very specific website if you have used connect before that's great you still need to initially start at the website that I will give you. If you are brand new to Connect, I will again give you this website. Everybody needs to start at the website. And so I'll provide that to you. And you'll create that. That's where your ebook's going to be and where some, not all, of your digital assignments are going to be. So you're going to get out there and create that username. And you'll get points for that. So you want to make note of that Saturday due date. But what you're going to also see is in addition to these kind of getting started assignments, and that's what they are, they get you out there and they get you up and working, and we'll be talking about these things in our class meeting this first week on Tuesday, is that you're also going to have some homework that's going to be due by the next Monday, by Monday, the August 30th. When? Notice these times, 11.55, okay? And you're going to have three assignments for the chapter. Learn smart. 
Not telling you the how-to yet, but if you've never used Learn Smart, you're going to love it because it's interactive reading. And what I mean by that is you have to answer questions, but you're reading and then you're answering questions kind of immediately about the reading. That's graded. That's how you earn points, but it keeps your mind from wandering. To me, the reading is so much richer by doing these Learn Smart. So I think you're going to like that. Then you're going to have these video quizzes. They're kind of cool. They explain key concepts with a video, has closed caption, all that type of stuff, transcripts. Um, sometimes they're cases and so they'll go out to a business and they you know something that you're talking about in that chapter. We do a little bit of everything in Introduction to Business. So we're talking about everything from economics to how to motivate your employees to management, human resource management, all these kind of things. But we only do one chapter on it. We don't get real in-depth on anything. It's just, it's an overview, right? It's an introduction to business. And so that's what you're going to get to see. So you, you might see a case study. You might see something that explains the supply and demand, something like that. And that's what those video quizzes are. And you answer some questions. Um, we're going to have an application activity. Those uh, are can be variable uh, to some extent. It might be a multiple choice or it might be a simulator. I think you'll love those. What a, a simulation where you are kind of in the case. Um, tip my hand on one of them. Uh, I think for our ethics chapter, you get to go into an international business and kind of address something that you may perceive as a problem. Is it a problem? Is it not a problem? What are the ethics? And so you kind of get to go through the simulation and answer questions to see if you can get maximum points possible. Okay, so I think you're going to like those. Um, but those that's an example of an ap application activity. Now, notice that I said this is due August 30th, and we're talking about weekly work schedule. So what you want to do is you want to allow time. I do see students have been teaching a long time and I know you're busy. I know, I know you are. And all of a sudden it's Monday and you have these three assignments to do. And the student who could have gotten an A, which I think is all students, because I think that's how this course is set up. It's, it's to support you. It's to uh, immerse you in an engaging way into the content. But if you don't have time to do that, if it's nine o'clock at night, well, now you have 10, 11, not even fully till 12, is an hour per assignment going to be enough? It depends. It depends on what you already know before you start the chapter. And you're going to already know some things, but I doubt you would be taking the course if you already knew everything, right? I find that when I get an updated textbook, there's new things and something I haven't thought of in a long time that I need a refresher on. So allow your, oops, I'm sorry, whoop. Where'd it go? Allow your, there it is, allow yourself time. If you can do the Learn Smart on Sunday or, you know, m maybe even uh, Tuesday when our class starts, that's great. Maybe do the video quiz the next day. Maybe do the application activity the next day. You still have plenty, plenty of time and your mind won't get burned out. Now, what you're going to see, I'm going to scroll down is this is kind of how we progress every week. You do have another little, you know, Saturday assignment only for those first three weeks where I'm still taking, you know, uh, taking your attendance via this quiz. I'll take your attendance when you show up for class, right? And you see that you actually have an opportunity to earn some bonus um, some bonus points, a challenge assignment. So you'll want to check into those. But in terms of required, notice it's Monday night, Monday night, Monday night, Monday night, right? And you'll have those three required assignments. Don't have the bonus the first week because you have so many other things, you know, that, that you're doing. Okay. And I, my goal is, is to not overwhelm you. That's really what I'm trying to do. So every week, you know, you look ahead, especially if you know you've got a busy week, you know you're going out of town for work, for family, you've got something, you know, important that is going to consume a lot of time, work ahead. 
maybe you need to work ahead a little bit this weekly schedule will keep you on track and this is the work that you're going to be doing outside of our hour and a half class time we're going to meet we're going to make sure that you're able to get in there you know walk you through how you need to set things up answer your questions talk about you know some of these key concepts um, but you know your your real work is in that remember a regular class would meet for three hours so you're gonna still have that extra hour and a half of things that you need to do outside of the classroom in your homework and so that's what this schedule outlines for you okay so I just wanted to give you this I'm gonna attach this in an email you can look all the way through um, to the end of the semester you may even want to look look at this late if there's late work I've got that scheduled in here so you know if you do miss something life does sometimes happen I got gotcha, you okay I got you make sure you're looking at this schedule because then you'll go okay you know I had this little something come up I need to make it up this is what I need to do it's planned out for you so that that you can follow this it's going to keep you on track it's going to support your learning going to support your your academic growth and your skills and I think it's going to lend for a good semester that's that's my goal right and I think we're going to have a have a good one so I hope this uh, works out and um, and that you enjoy this and that's my sole goal here is just to uh, talk about the schedule so we'll be talking more as we get closer to class thanks folks